Okay, here we go with part two of the elevator tutorial. Now rather than do an actual build, I'm just going to try and show how each block correlates to one another. Okay, so we'll be starting with the zero block. Now that's the button that you're going to use to call the elevator down. So on the second floor you will need a zero receiver to connect to the base of the elevator and the same for the third floor. And again for the one you will need these to connect to the top of the elevator so that they can call the elevator up. Okay we've also got these little buttons that allow you to stop in the middle floors. So we'll just show you there on level one and level three. You simply click that button then the roof of the elevator and it will allow the piston to grab it in the center level. In this case I'm actually using Better Blocks Bridges they work exactly the same as pistons, but it also allows you to camouflage the block, as shown here, which is a great feature. Saves a bit of building space. And you'll also need pulse clocks. Now I have these set to 100. It just adds a delay to how long the actual piston or block bridge will stay open for. And again, we have these on the other side. On this side, however, it's more dependent on the actual height of the elevator as to what settings you need. You may need to experiment. These are the settings that work good for me on this particular build. Okay, now the buttons on the center floor. You will need four transmitters. The two underneath the buttons correspond to the pistons and the two behind the buttons correspond to your call up, call down. Okay, we'll just show you how these work now. It stays open just long enough to catch the elevator. Same again with the top floor. Okay, let's go ahead and place an elevator now and just test that it's all working. So now we'll go ahead and click the number 4 button and then click down on the elevator and that should stop us in the centre. And again we click the number 3 button then the top of the elevator and yep, all is good. Okay, now we'll test calling it down to the middle level. Ooh. Okay, I'll also be including still shots at the end of the video just to make things a little easier later on if you want to try this build yourself. Just simply do a screen capture, then you can open that up while you're playing. Okay, now we'll go on to the actual elevator doors. So we'll just set this to frequency 6. And we can cover that back up. And we'll do the same. So we'll set this transmitter to 6 also. And then we're going to be placing pressure plates on top of both of these transmitters. Okay, now for the bridge blocks. Again, you can use pistons for this. You'll just need to make sure that they are set one block further across. So your actual door will be where the bridge blocks are in this video. You'll also need to move your buttons back by one row as well. Okay, so now we've got the door in place. We're going to need to place one block here. So we can add red power to both blocks. And now you're going to need the XNOR gate. Make sure that you're facing the direction it will be placed as well. Now we add our receiver and we'll set this to frequency 6. So now basically the current has been reversed, so when you step on the pressure plates, it will open the door. Okay, I hope this has helped. Uh, stay tuned for the still shots.